Annyeonghaseyo, hello and hello. For the first time I'm doing a temple stay. Obang Yugil. And I will show you what my room here is like. When entering the temple grounds through that gate back there, on the right side here you'll find the office. This is where you get the temple clothes, the first instruction and so on. And then right across is the building in which I am lodging. Down there that's me. And up there is my room. In front of the house is this little bell pavilion. Very pretty, but maybe something for another day. For now I'm gonna be on my way to the room. As you can hear, I'm in the heart of nature. Birds, insects, snakes, frogs. I've never experienced it in this intensity before in Korea. It is one believable. Indeed lies Gulgulsa somewhere in the middle of nowhere, close to the east coast. The next bigger city nearby is Gyeongju, approximately a 30 minutes drive away. Up, 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 up the stairs we go! Here in the back you can see this little appendix with a blue roof. That's a common laundry. Inside is the washing machine and outside you have the clothes lines. Up here we have some beautiful eaves. Very Korean. And then I'd say let's have a look inside. Room number 203. Okay, so first of all we have this little hallway here. There's my shoes and also the shoes of my roommate. Straight ahead lies the actual room and to the left is the bathroom. Our water is safe to drink. It comes from the spring. Hello. I'm gonna do some little penning. You can see that the shower is not separate from the rest of the bathroom. A little bit like it was in my first apartment here in Korea. It's a bit stuffy in here though. When it comes to Stoßlüften, it seems most Koreans don't know the meaning of the word. Lights out. Energy saved. Let's continue. Alrighty. Right in front of us is my bed. My area. And then next to it we have my roommate's mattress. He doesn't cover it with a bed sheet. I don't know why. Let's see if I can get a view of the whole room. Just a moment. Alright. Okay, as you can see, my roommate, a Korean guy in his 20s, I would say, has his part of the room over there. I am lying over here, so it's roughly 50-50. And then there's a shared space with entrance area, refrigerator and the demilitarized zone between our beds. Here in the front, as mentioned a moment ago, the fridge. However, you're not supposed to bring any external food, so there's basically only the refilled water bottles in here. The pouch with my dirt clothes, right above it my temple vest and my towels. And then over there all my other stuff. The daily schedule, which was given to me when checking in. All the things from my little suitcase my nightgown and the bed, if you can even call it that. It's basically this kind of mattress, same as over there, rather thin. So if you push down with a little bit of force, you can feel the floor through it. I received this bed sheet when checking in, just like the pillow and its cover and the blanket as it is. So yeah. All in all, I sleep quite well on it, actually. I wouldn't mind if it was slightly longer, though, because my feet are more or less on their own during the night. But that's all right. This is the window which opens to the front. Let's open it and have a look. Again, typically Korean with hanji, Korean paper. Then a must-have in the second layer, the mosquito window screen. And finally, the outer layer, locked with a spoon. And acrylic on the outside, probably for improved insulation. As mentioned before, we have the entrance gate over there, and the bell pavilion right here. 
and then on the other side the let's call it administrative building with an office for check-in and check-out, clothes, bedding and so on. A little bit more of my roommate's area. He has his own little coat rack there and another window. Then we have the aircon up here. It's usually turned on during the day when we have a rest period and are inside. And then those two shelves that he basically uses by himself. <laughs> 